Tuesday started like it always did. Lisa was half listening to a news report about how terrible everything is. I mean, absolutely the worst, Greg. With more on this, we go to Janine in Cincinnati. Thanks, Mark. Everything when, is while just trying to ignore here. the unceasing barking of the neighbor's dog and the sounds of her own chewing, which she recently had started to find unbearable, Lisa saw a tree. It was the kind of tree that made you want to sing, that called to the very core of our biology as human beings and reminded us of who we were, who we are, and where we have to go. It was, well, it was a pretty nice tree. And as Lisa stared at this spectacular reminder of Mother Nature, something magical happened. Lisa became a tree person, which would have been a mentally and emotionally powerful event if Lisa knew exactly what being a tree person meant. So, she improvised. First thing Lisa did was to leave society, and quickly. It took a little while, but finally she got there. Nature. But running 12 miles to your nearest park and looking at trees does not a tree person make, so Lisa really leaned in. She built a yurt, because what self-respecting tree person doesn't live in a yurt? She started eating bugs, because, well, I'm not really sure why. But above all else, Lisa studied. She studied every tree she could, every leaf, every piece of bark. And suddenly, she got it. Lisa got to work immediately. She collected her ingredients, found a nice spot, and did what any self-respecting tree person would do. She planted herself. Her intentions were good, but perhaps misplaced. For you see, being a tree person is as easy as giving a tree dedication. When you give a tree dedication, you support tree people's mission to plant actual trees, cool our cities, and make people healthy. And happy too. Unfortunately, our heroine, unable to hear this narration, spent the last three and a half days planted into the ground. It was, in the opinion of the tree formerly known as Lisa, the best three and a half days of her life.